Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I'm gonna to be doing a holiday look featuring this eye makeup right here. So if you wanna see how to do this, just keep on watching because it's coming right up. Quick disclaimer, I'm not at my apartment, so this is my parents' house, so the filming is a little bit everywhere. The lighting is uh, hard to control and also like I don't have a background at all. But I will be getting to film some more videos because school is done. Yeah! So I have a couple weeks off and I'll be able to film some more and get some more content out to you guys. So I'm very excited about that. If you are excited about the holidays and you're looking for something easy, simple to do, this is honestly super simple but like packs a punch, which I love. If you do want to follow me on social media, I'll put my handles up here, but there'll be links down below. If you end up liking this video, hit that like button. It helps me out a ton getting my video out to other people. That's pretty much it for me. I will get right into the video. I'll show you how I got this eye look. And if you have any questions, just ask me. All right, we'll go straight to the video. All right guys, so I'm going to start with the eyes, obviously, well that's all we're doing today. We're doing an eye look. So one of the main things that I'll be using on my eyes today is this NYX palette. Uh, so this is the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. There's about five shades in the 16 that you get that have some glitter in them, and then the rest are basically all mattes, all in bright colors, obviously. We're gonna be doing a Christmas look today. That's why I popped on this lip. This lip is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade uh, Baso Shimmer, which is a nice deep red color, or rich red color, uh, with a little bit of like a shine to it, a metallic shine to it. All right, so we're nice and zoomed in. I've already prepped my eyelids with uh, Tarte Shape Tape. I did this look a little bit earlier, just practicing um so hopefully it turns out okay but what i'm going to do is take a big fluffy brush basically and we're gonna go in the crease with a bright color we're gonna start with this bright um red shade which has a little bit of glitter in it but it comes off pretty matte on the eye so we're gonna do that shade in the crease which for me is pretty bold but we're gonna do that i'm not doing a color underneath i tried doing it with like a normal like crease color brown uh, transition shade but it didn't come out as nicely as i wanted it to it kind of like made the color muddy so the best thing i think that i'm gonna do is just go into this um red shade and just go straight into the crease and we're gonna start building up this color so it's nice and light to start but it is pre pretty pigmented um shade and we're just gonna pull this out a little bit and focusing on the outside of the crease but pulling it into the entire crease as well and just blending the edges and the harsh lines and this is just a big fluffy brush to get like our base down and just pulling it kind of up on the outside don't forget blend to blend the inside which is the part that i usually forget Next I'm going in with like a little medium packer brush, shadow brush. This one's by Smashbox. And I'm going back into the red shade and we're just going to build up a little bit more color. So I'm going to concentrate the color along the crease here. And I'm not blending up yet. I'm just packing the color on. I'm just fluffing out the edges a little bit. And remember to pull this up a little bit, pull some color over there. And just fluffing the edges very, very lightly. And I'm just actually wiping the excess off on my palm here. So I'm not adding more color there. All right, so that's our second go around. I'm gonna go in with a more dense packing brush and I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay setting spray here and spray it onto the brush. We're gonna go back in to that red shade again. Pick up color just with um, the brush here. We're gonna go in and pack some more color again close to crease and we're packing color in there. More on the outside again and pulling out all the way across going and just doing little dabbing motions basically and this gives it a ton of color payoff and really gets that color like concentrated. It looks crazy now, don't worry, it'll be fine. Then I'm gonna go back in with the second brush that we used, a little bit fluffier, rub the excess again off on my hand, and then we're gonna blend the edges that we just created into our middle of what we have going here. Don't forget the ends, and don't forget the inside. back to the first blending brush that we put in. I'm gonna wipe the excess again off on my hand and we're just gonna blend the very edge of our 
shadow. This color is really pretty and super like pigmented. I normally wouldn't put it on the crease, but because it's Christmas look, I wanted it to be a little bit more bold. So that's what we have so far. All right, so next we're gonna go in with um, concealer, whatever concealer you have or use under your eyes, um, I would use that one. Right now I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, so I'm gonna go in with that. You use a concealer brush. I don't usually normally use a concealer brush under my eyes, I just use a beauty blender, but I'm going to use the concealer brush for my eyelid. So I'm just gonna grab some product here and we're gonna cut our crease here, outline our eyelid. I'm gonna be using my Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow in Kate and Karma, which I've used previously on my channel and reviewed, and it is awesome. So we're gonna use that on the lid because it's nice and sparkly and it's perfect for the holidays. So we're gonna go in onto the lid, straight with the doe foot applicator, and just follow that crease that we cut. And I'm covering it to a point over on the end. The nice thing about these is they are um, liquid, but they are um, easy to work with. They don't dry down too, too fast. I'm gonna go back in with that angle brush and just blend out the edges softly. It doesn't need much blending because we did want to cut the crease. I'm just gonna go with my finger and blend it toward my lash line. What we're gonna do is we are gonna go in with that matte green shade here, this one in the corner, and we're gonna do underneath our eye, but not mixing the red and green together because I've noticed uh, whenever I did put them too close together, they kind of made a purpley shade. So just bring that along the bottom lash line here. Just pulling it out just slightly, just under that glitter there. Just a slight pull up. And there you go. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that Urban Decay setting spray again, just on that angled brush um, that we just used for the green, and go in again and just see if I can get even more color, even though that was a lot. These shadows in here are pretty awesome. They work so well and they're so pigmented, and I haven't had much fallout or anything. And Worked great. By the way, I got this um, for sale um, with my coupon that I got from Black Friday from the drugstore that I went to. I got a $10 off coupon and this was $19.99 Canadian. So total it was $9.99 and so it was a great deal. I really like it. It's super Christmassy. It'll look really good once we add liner and lashes. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera real fast and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like all together. Two hours later. All right, so we're zoomed back in and I've applied my lashes, liner, and mascara. The lashes I used are the Tarte Goddess Lashes. Love them. I've been using them quite a bit lately. They're really nice, very um, curled. On the bottom of the lashes, I used my normal L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which I love. For liner, I used the Stila Stay All Day uh, Liquid Eyeliner in black, obviously. I winged it out kind of in between the red and green. So this is the finished eye look here. And definitely like if you didn't want to wear a red lipstick and you just wore a neutral uh, lipstick I think this would be like super wearable and like kind of like a nice festive look um, you don't have to add lashes obviously and you could tone down the red and maybe keep it closer to the crease to um, tone it down a little bit more for daytime if you didn't want to wear that because like for me this is a lot of makeup but I love it all right thanks guys so much for tuning in today and hope that you enjoyed the look i think it's really like a nice uh, holiday look something different for me too because i normally don't wear bright colors in my crease or bright colors really that much at all so i really like it it's very um holiday-esque i really enjoyed using this palette i thought it was very pigmented and i'm excited to try the other shade i really want to try doing like a pink look with some of these um shades up here pink purples and also like this bright like teals over here look so amazing and they'd be so nice for underneath the eye. I really do like the green today but like 
it's very holiday, so I wouldn't do that on a normal basis. I will list all the products that I used in the description box if you're interested, um, and if you have any questions, just let me know. I can answer them. If you do want to keep up with me, just hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell notification to get notifications when I post because it is a little bit sporadic still. I will get a set schedule eventually, hopefully. I hope you're having an amazing um, winter break if you are on winter break, if you're in school or anything like that, or just a holiday season if you don't get a break and you're just working. If it's just a normal Tuesday, then happy Tuesday. Thank you so much for tuning in and hopefully I see you in my next video. Bye.